the sights, the sounds of Hampton University football are back. The Pirates are itching to kick off just their second season under head man Robert Prunty. Having the time off with COVID, they learned to appreciate football more, and they learned to appreciate life more. I think that when you see the Hampton team now, you'll see a team that plays hard, plays with great fundamental, and plays as a team. It's going to be a scary season for us, though. It's definitely going to be scary because we're going to get out there. We, we've been waiting for it. So we've been waiting for that moment. We've been working for that moment. So it's time to get to work. You say scary. That's a choice word. What about this team is scary? It's everything. What might also be a little scary, the Pirates' Big South schedule. Oh, it's a tough conference. I mean, you're talking about Mama is ranked, Kennesaw State is ranked, North Carolina A&T is ranked. I mean, that's huge. The Pirates open at home against Virginia Union, then head to Old Dominion the week after that. They have a homecoming date against Kennesaw State, which is ranked 19th in the FCS Top 25. Then two weeks later, come back to face Big South newcomer North Carolina A&T, which is ranked 25th. I mean, if you look at it from the FCS level, I mean, to me, it's a mini, it's a mini SEC conference. In the matchup, everyone has circled. October 2nd, Norfolk State heads to Hampton for the first Battle of the Bay in four years. I think it's great for the 757 area. I think it's great for Hampton University. I think it's great for Norfolk State. Norfolk State has a great coach in Coach Odom. So we're very excited to have an opportunity to play them. Hampton football is back, and it all gets started Saturday, 6 o'clock at Armstrong Stadium. With the Pirates, Nathan Epstein for the Sport Trap.